we get into that music vein, though, you know the only shit I was... Nigga. He's nasty. I listened to it on my walk this morning. That shit hard. Yeah, I listened to it on the right here. 2004 was made for niggas in my age range, yo. Me and my boys in the group chat, we had like a like one of them tear type sessions listening <laughs> to that song, nigga. All nah. of us hit the group chat after we heard it around the same time, though. I feel like Mick, G- Mick Jenkins w- waited for the right time, too, because I feel like with all the music that's coming out, you see how people starting to like slander like hip hop, like, yo, it's all sounding the same, da 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 da. I think. The ultra talented niggas are coming back in style. Like it don't matter if you got a bunch of money. This that this. that nigga is a skilled poet, bro. I mean, like before anything, he's a skilled poet that can rap. He he picks good beats. Like yo, the waters. Remember when I found yes. the waters, yo? I I feel yeah. like I've been. Listening I'm not gonna to say Jenkins it, but I feel like I was the time. first nigga in Baltimore listening to Mick Jenkins, yo. The waters. I found that shit. You like definitely put me the on first day Jenkins. it came out. This shit was crazy. Yeah, man. Drink more water, water, take another sip. Yeah. Just a sip. You could still go back and listen to that. Like, go. Oh, yeah, you can nigga, listen to that. Nigga, the production on that. Nigga, just let me sip my ginger ale. But the name nigga, of the nigga, album will give you, like, like, why that's um, why that's the case. It's called The Patience. So mm-hmm. that's that's the whole thing with the, the album itself. He was really waiting. You know what I mean? And then, like, he got Freddie Gibbs and Benny nah, the Butcher on the I knew, I knew he show was getting up crazy, there. Show I knew he was getting up there wild. when he had the Gangsta Gibbs freestyle. I was listening. I'm like, oh, shit, he got Freddie Gibbs on this bitch? I like that all better the features than the Benny song. They all yeah. smoked him. Every feature. Every smoked. feature on here is tough, though. Like, all of them shits. Even, um, who did I hear on here? Was that, was that, uh, Corday? No, 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 that was uh, Vic Mensa. That's Vic Mensa. Vic Mensa was, was on there. He was focused. That is Vic Mensa. And he was killing it, yo. Farm to farm He got to a uh, J feature, too, a J-I-D. Yeah, that's hard. That song is crazy. But 2004 is probably beat. my favorite next to Show and Tell. Show and Tell is up there. Your boy dropped too, Zay. Hold on. I'm a, before I, I'm a, yeah, I'm going to get to that because I... Uh, I was going to say, it sounded like Mick was a little more uh, aggressive on the tracks than normal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's but a, you got to think. He's in a different mindset. Call him niggas gotta, al you, dente and shit But you like got to think. You got to think. He's been in the booth perfecting his craft for so long now. That's why I'm excited for J-Rock new shit. Like, when yeah. niggas take that time off and they really nice, no, but I they wanna, ready come I out with know, some shit. That's one thing, but I want to know, because I know there's a story behind it, why he's more aggressive on the tracks. Like just how his how he sounds on the track, how he projects on the track, mm-hmm. how he's attacking the tracks. Yeah, it sounds way different. Yeah, he definitely made other albums. Well, he probably had to me, uh, at least. I'm good producers around him that where they like, yo, you gotta your vo- your vocal inflections and shit like that. Like that's my main problem with like music because I'll be like melodic and mo- monotone, but like that shit is important if you're a lyricist to like put emphasis on certain bars and different similes and shit like that. that. Might be one he thing, went but, crazy, but I'm also wondering it's just him. Like what, what, what I was is, about to ask, it could be his growth as an artist as well. No, what I was going to ask it? more is, how much have y'all heard of, about Mick Jenkins outside of when Mick Jenkins releases shit? Nothing. You said outside of his music? Yeah, a decent amount. No, I'm saying like it's from people, interviews, and things like that. Uh, a little bit. List. Nothing. Have you I ever heard his name it. on any lists or anything like that either? Oh, see, that might be. That's why I think like, he did like this. Like all the big lists? No, not so much. That's why I think he did this. Yeah, okay. See, like, I think he's, like his, 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 he was trying to be aggressive more, showing y'all, like, yo, I'm really nice at Nice than yeah. Nice than honestly, damn near uh, all of, like... All of the ones in yeah, his class like, range. in his class, like, he's me, nice like, he's shit. up there. Like, he's, nice as shit. Like, he's top super tier. nice, yo. He's yeah. been top tier for a long time. And the I water, think, yo. I don't know if he gets... Because I don't see a lot of interviews with this nigga or, or him on lists or... Yeah. Even chatter of this nigga, but I don't look at every. I don't, I'm not gonna be like I'm the source of all things, knowing what everybody's talking about. But I don't ever hear them niggas talking about this nigga. So yeah. like I would assume that kind of probably frustrates him. And I know if he on, I don't know if he is he independent or does he have a label. He was independent when he dropped the other stuff. Now that he got Freddie Gibbs in him, though, he might got something yeah, behind so him. So that he could got, probably be a little frustrating kind of for him. Him. Like, they not trying to give him the tight push. So he was like, fuck it. I'm going to drop it. these 11 heat balls on niggas, you body the project, yo. It's smoke he bodies ball. every project. Because yeah, even what was his last joint? The elephant in the room or the circus every joint? Every project. The, the circus. It was the, the circus joint the room, then? The uh, waters. That's all them shit. Yo, he goes crazy with everything, yo. I don't. He hasn't had a bad project. He hasn't put out a bad project. He never put out a bad project, yo. Yeah, he ain't. He hasn't even. Oh, yeah, pieces of a man. Yeah, he. Yo, oh, I forgot healing, about pieces of a man. The healing component. That was fire. No, nah, he went crazy. He's been going crazy since 2014, nigga. It's almost been 10 yeah. years of crazy. 
and y'all not giving my man enough love. Yeah. I don't feel. If they if they all hit me in the comments with some with some uh, links or something, so I can see where yeah. Mick Jenkins is getting this love at, because he deserves that shit. This nigga's nice. Mick Jenkins is super super duper nice. Yeah, and. Um,